Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with another of my uh, brand or house overviews. And today I am back with all of my fragrances from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. So uh, I started this series quite a while, well not quite a while ago, like a month ago, and I did uh, Dior and I think that was the first and only one I've done so I thought man I better get going on some more of these. So the next house I chose to go over is Dolce & Gabbana. Um, I have got I think 10 different perfumes here so I'm just going to jump right in. Let's start with the light blue uh, flankers that I own. I do not own the original light blue, but I do own a couple of the flankers. The first one I'm going to talk about is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. This is my favorite version of light blue. Um, I just think this one is so beautiful. It's got a little bit more body than the original light blue. Um, it's a little bit creamier. It's not quite as uh, it's not quite as fresh smelling. This has a little bit of a gourmand kick to it, a little bit more of a tropical kick to it. This one has frangipani in it, and tiare, I, be I believe. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful version of uh, light blue. Sun is lemon, granny smith apple, ozonic notes, coconut nectar, jasmine, white rose, frangipani ambergris, bourbon vanilla, cedar, and white musk. So no, um, no tiara in it, but it's beautiful. Uh, there, you do smell the coconut, but it is very, very mild. I think even for people that don't like coconut in their fragrances, this one would, you could probably get by with it. Um, because it's very, very faint. It's the coconut that's just adding a touch of creaminess, but it's not overly coconutty like you wouldn't you wouldn't smell it and think oh that's coconut fragrance so anyways that is the first one and my favorite light blue flanker and that is called uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue sun the second flanker I have from uh, Dolce & Gabbana and that is a flanker of light blue is Italian zest so this is beautiful but this is like a zingy lemon dessert. This is very different from Sun. Um, it's still light blue. It still has that light blue DNA. But this smells like lemon bars or like a true lemon dessert. It's sweet. It's light. It's fresh. It's sugary. It smells like a beautiful lemon dessert, lemon meringue pie. Ugh, it's, it is really, really gorgeous. So Italian zest is lemon, green apple, bellflower, lemon verbena, bergamot, bamboo, jasmine, rose, cedar, amber, musk, iso east super, sandalwood, and vanilla. You can smell the iso east super in this, and I know that some people are very, very sensitive to that note and really, really don't like it. So if you are somebody that knows that you really, really don't like ISO E Super, I would probably stay away from this because I can detect it. It's not like overpowering the whole perfume. You really get a lot of the um, citruses, but that ISO E Super is there. It's definitely present. I happen to love it though, so um, I don't have a problem with it, but I just wanted to let you know about it just because I know some people just really don't like it. So anyways, that is a light blue Italian zest. Okay, next we are going to move on to the red caps and I've got two different versions. Uh, the first one I picked up is this one and this was just a partial bottle that I found on Mercari. It was really, really inexpensive and this is the, um, this is the Eau de Parfum, but this is the made in Germany version. Now, the, you can go down a major rabbit hole with Dolce & Gabbana Red Cap. Um, there are so many different versions of it. This one I love. This one on my skin smells like clean, fresh, warm laundry. Like that just came out of the dryer and I just popped it on and like I just smell good and fresh. It smells like clean white towels or something. It's so, so nice. Now, this one, 
this the other version I got because after I got that one I went down the rabbit hole and then I had to have the Euro Italian version Euro Italia sorry version the made in Italy version and um, so I picked it up and this one is totally different to my nose and very different on my skin as well. Um, you can see even the liquid is a little bit darker and more rich. Holy cow, it got dark outside. It's like storming out there. So, um, sorry. This one, like I say, is the, even the liquid is darker and deeper. And uh, this one... These are both aldehydic fragrances, so if you know you don't like aldehydes, you definitely wouldn't like these. This one, however, um, this one ends up this one ends up drying down on my skin to smell quite incensey. It still is queen, clean, aldehydic. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, but this version on me smells a little bit incensey. It's beautiful. I really, really love both of these, um, but I really do prefer the Euro Italia version or the Made in Italy version. So they don't have, um, Fragrantica doesn't have different pages for each version, so it's kind of all the same. Uh, so I'm not sure if the notes are accurate, the notes that are listed on Fragrantica are accurate for both of these bottles, but um, it's what I can find. So the notes on this are mandarin, bergamot, basil, aldehydes, carnation, orange blossom, lily, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka, and musk. You definitely get that like aldehydic, basil, carnation, um, kind of a little bit old school vibe from this one. I really love it. I'm very, very happy to have these bottles in my collection and yeah so those are the two versions of the Dolce and Gabbana red cap that I have okay moving on into the uh, Dolce fragrances so I've got four different uh, fragrances here from the Dolce line and I'm gonna start with just the original Dolce so uh, this is the just original Dolce and I love this I love the beautiful flower cap I love the black bow it's just so feminine and dainty um, I love the kind of very light spring green liquid but this is a very light floral fragrance um, I'm sorry if you can hear my daughter in the background she is washing her hands in the bathroom which is right across the hall from me so if you hear that please excuse it she should be done in just a second but um, okay so Dolce is just a very beautiful, very light, crisp, white floral fragrance, and I really love this one for springtime. So, Dolce is neroli leaf, papaya flower, white, sorry, white amaryllis, narcissus, white water lily, cashmere, and musk. Nothing groundbreaking here, but it's beautiful, it's light, it's uh, sp very spring-like, kind of a, um, not like a sweet white floral, it's more of a fresh, crisp, dry white floral. I really love this one, so that is Dolce. And then I also have a decant of the first flanker that came out for this fragrance, or for Dolce, and this is mm -hmm. Dolce Floral Drops. So Floral Drops is really beautiful. I actually prefer this one just a little bit uh, more than the floral. This one has just a, a touch of sweetness. It's got a little bit something extra. This one's just really, really beautiful in my opinion. And I believe the liquid is, yeah, it's still that really beautiful spring green, very light pale pastel green liquid that really reminds you of spring. So this one is a uh, neroli leaf, papaya flower, amaryllis. So the same top notes really. Uh, amaryllis, daffodil, water lily, cashmere musk, and sandalwood. And I think that it is the addition of the daffodil and the sandalwood that is um, giving this one just a little very nice twist. I just really, really enjoy this one. So again, that is Floral Drops. So the next one we have is Dolce Garden, and this is the one in the beautiful pink bottle, and it again has just that beautiful cap and the black ribbon uh, black bow I love this one 
Oh gosh. This is such a beautiful, sweet floral with coconut and almond milk in it. It's creamy. It's gorgeous. I really love this one. This one could be worn any time of year, but it's particularly beautiful in the heat. I really, really love this fragrance. So, Garden is... Here's Charlotte. She's in her little bathing suit because we're about to go to the river. Uh, okay, so Garden is Mandarin, Magnolia, Neroli, Frangipani, Ylang Ylang, Coconut, Vanilla, Almond Milk, and Woods. Um, I've talked a lot about this one on my channel, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, but I really, really love this one. It's very, very beautiful. So, that is Dolce Garden. And the last one from this line that I own is Dolce Peony. So this one is beautiful. Again, I love these bottles. I love the shape of them. They're beautiful and heavy, um, nice thick glass, and I just love these lids. I just think they're so gorgeous. So uh, Peony, <laughs> this is another one that is just so pretty. I love this one. And this one is becoming increasingly difficult to find so if you guys um, come across this one definitely pick it up because it I believe it's been discontinued I'm not totally sure but I know that I had a hard time finding it I found mine on fragrance net but I had looked some other places first and um, was kind of having a hard time finding it so I'm glad that I snatched this one up but this one is it's light garden but it is a little bit fresher. It still has that same kind of sweetness, but it doesn't have the coconut. <sighs> but it's very, very pretty. So, uh, peony is bergamot, nashi pear, pink pepper, peony, freesia, Bulgarian rose, yellow plum nectar, honey, patchouli, and amber. And you can smell the sweetness from that yellow plum nectar. That and the nashi pear are, oh gosh, the combination of those two notes is what is giving this um, that combination that I adore. It's what's giving the sweetness to the fragrance. It's just a really, really beautiful one. So again, really happy that I have this one and I really, really adore this. Good in the heat. Um, this is an eau de parfum too. I should be telling you guys what these are. Um, but yeah, this, if, if I, if you're interested in knowing if it's an EDT or an EDP, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely let you know. But yeah, this is an EDP and it's really beautiful. Okay, and then I have one fragrance, but this is just a decant, but this is from the Velvet Collection, and it's kind of an exclusive line or a more expensive line for Dolce & Gabbana, and I have Velvet Desire. So this is a very typical summer white floral. It is very simple in its composition, um, but very tropical, beachy, summery, sweet, heavy, like like you can imagine um, these heavy white florals in a very humid environment that's what this perfume reminds you of or reminds me of so velvet desire is gardenia tuberose and frangipani very simple again those heavy dense beautiful tropical white florals i love this one it is like the ultimate beach summer fragrance adore it so again that one is velvet desire and then finally moving on to Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I have two fragrances from this line. Um, one is just a mini because this is my, I left it for last because this is my least favorite line from Dolce & Gabbana that I've tried so far. Um, however, I do really enjoy the one. Mine is the Eau de Parfum version. And I really do enjoy this fragrance, especially in the cooler weather. There's something very comforting about this. It's just a little bit sweet, a little bit powdery. It's really beautiful. It's just one of those that you just want to spray on and, um, you know, just kind of like curl up in a blanket or wear a really beautiful sweater. This is one that something about it reminds me of Christmas time. It's just, it's one of those fragrances. So, uh, the one is Mandarin, Bergamot, Lychee, Peach, Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, White Lily, Plum, um, sorry, Vetiver Roots, Amber, Musk, and Vanilla. And it's beautiful. The vanilla in this one is really, really beautiful. The plum is really nice. 
and to me it is a predominantly plum fragrance that's what I smell the most and that's kind of what my uh, skin emphasizes the most in this one is the plum so again really really enjoy this one in the colder weather and that is Dolce and Gabbana the one and then I do have just a little mini a little baby of Dolce and Gabbana the only one this is not one that I would buy a full bottle of. I actually don't enjoy this fragrance at all. Um, it just came in a little, like I, some sort of a sampler kit. Um, and I had never smelled it before, so I wasn't mad to get it. But I just really don't like this. Um, I think they were going for kind of like a um, opium, black opium vibe. Or, you know, something along those lines. But to me, you can get Britney Spears fragrances like uh, Private, sorry, VIP, no, Private Show. <laughs> that is right. Um, you can get like uh, Britney Spears Private Show and it's better than this. You can get um, Sofia Vergara Love. Two incredibly affordable fragrances that are better than this. Um, but this isn't bad. It's just got, I don't know. It's just got that kind of very generic um, thing going on with it. And it smells better in the bottle than it does on my skin. When I get this one on the skin and it dries down, it really just turns very... Um, there's some ingredient that they use in perfumes that ends up turning very synthetic smelling on me very almost peppery smelling on me it's just very strange so and that's what this one does um the only one is bergamot violet coffee iris patchouli and vanilla and you can see with those notes they're kind of it's kind of going for like a black opium vibe but to me this one just doesn't work but i keep it in my collection because it is the cutest little bottle i really really enjoy um collecting little minis so i'm not sad to have it so anyways guys those are all of the dolce and gabbana fragrances that i have in my collection i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you maybe found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and i will see you in my next one bye